saw, dude. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my light just died. If you're new here, that happens about every three videos. <laughs> Um, okay, no, sorry. What I meant to say was, hi, if you're new here, my name is Carly, and I cover crime stories that are happening a little bit, uh, more in the present. I try to focus on smaller stories that we don't hear a ton about, just because I think that everybody's story deserves to be heard, and that is what I mainly try to focus on. So with that being said, let's just jump right into it. On December 21st of 2022, Jose Abelino Guerrero of Virginia was reported missing by his family, who had been searching for him desperately since he had gone missing. Two days after his family reported him, Jose's car was found in the area off of Bel Air Road and Jeffries Road. According to police, there was evidence of a struggle along with blood found in the car. The case was updated from a missing person to endangered. So it had gotten more serious after seeing what had happened inside the car, unfortunately. Multiple searches were conducted by the police in the following weeks, and finally they were able to identify two persons of interest in connection to Jose's disappearance. The police obtained a search warrant and executed it at a home located in the 14,000th block of Matthews Drive in Woodbridge, Virginia. The persons of interest were arrested, one of whom was a minor, so I'm not going to mention their name because I don't like mentioning um, the names of minors in my videos, plus it hasn't been released anyways, so that's kind of a moot point. The two suspects, Olvin Daniel Argueta Ramirez, 19 years old, old from Woodbridge and the 17 year old boy who was also from Woodbridge were the suspects that were in the case. Police said that the investigation revealed the victim and suspects had arranged a drug deal on December 21st, the same day that Jose was reported as missing. During the exchange, an altercation occurred and police said that the victim was stabbed multiple times before losing consciousness. Jose presumably died from the stabbing. The suspects then drove Jose's body to Prince George's County, Maryland, and dumped him in a wooded area. Court documents say an interview with the suspects is what led the police to where the body was dumped, so they just gave up where they put him, which honestly really is a good thing because I know a lot of times for the families in these cases, that just gives them a sense of closure, which is very important. On Thursday, January 19th, the Prince William County detectives coordinated with Maryland authorities to locate and recover Jose's body. Court documents say that police also found additional items of evidence, including the alleged murder weapon. Now, it hasn't been released what that weapon is specifically, so who knows, in the days to follow, we might find out. Jose's body has been transported to the medical examiner's office in Maryland for an autopsy and confirmation on the identity, and it has been confirmed that it is, in fact, Jose. Olvin is being held without bond and is facing a second-degree murder charge as well as a charge of stabbing and commission of a felony. The minor is being held at the juvenile detention center on charge charged of robbery and murder. So as of right now, that is all we know about the case. It's incredibly tragic. Honestly, you know what's really sad is Jose was a young boy who probably was just, you know, smoking weed you know, very recreationally, and it probably wasn't a big deal. It's not like he was some kingpin or, like, a hardcore drug addict, which I know that, you know, these kinds of things can happen no matter the type of drug, if that makes sense. But still, it's just really sad because he was such a young guy and he was just, I don't know, partaking in a little marijuana. Uh, it will be interesting to see in the uh, court hearings if they ever go into further detail about what altercation took up place between the three men but as of right now that's all we got so that is it for me today you guys a very short video but i hope that you still found it interesting and consider coming back to my channel tomorrow for another true crime career video i post videos every single morning at 7 a.m so you have a new video every day to wake up to they're relatively short videos but that's what makes um it possible for me to just post every day so thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you tomorrow in another true crime career video Bye, guys.